Hello and welcome to the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. I'm Matt Finkel and we're in Upper Scioto Valley to chat Ram football with head coach Josh Spencer. Coach, in your fifth season, how are things going in camp so far? Going real well. Um, you know, two-a-days are well underway and uh, got a couple kids banged up already, but we're going to try to get those guys healthy before week one. Looking back on last season, four and six, what are the takeaways from last year? Are you satisfied? No, obviously not satisfied with four and six. Um, you know, we've got to do a better job winning some of our non-league games and then, um, you know, going into the regular season. The, bet, the better teams beat us, Fort Lormy, uh, Sydney Lehman, Riverside. You know, we've got we to up our game a little bit to compete with those guys a little bit better this year. How are your numbers this year in Division Seven? We have 30 kids out this year, um, which is a little bit lower than we would like. We typically like in the mid-30s, but, um, you know, as long as we're not in the 20s, we're pretty satisfied with that. Now, who are you replacing? Was it a, a large senior class that graduated, or you have a lot of returning starters coming back? We're a fairly young team. We lost seven off of our defense, and, um, you know, actually most of those guys played both ways. Not so many of them played offense, but, um, you know, the thing about it is we've we've got four seniors, and um, of those four seniors, not one of them has played four years in the program. Um, you know, some injuries and some other reasons they haven't been able to put all four years together. So, um, you know, out of our 30, we've got 26 that are juniors or lower. How have you seen those four seniors lead the younger guys? Have they started doing that already? Yeah, they, um, you know, they they work hard. They really do. Um, you know, even though that, like I said, they have only had that three years experience, they are a year older than everyone. And uh, physically, they're, um, you know, a little bit more mature and the kids look up to them. How was the off season and the summer? Was there any special camps or anything that went down for, for the Rams? Uh, we didn't do anything special. Um, you know, we go four days a week in the weight room, four days conditioning. And, um, you know, we really put a lot of emphasis on the weight room. Uh, coach Price, my strength uh, coach, he does a great job with them putting together workouts. And, um, you know, in our, again, starting my fifth year, but in four full years, we've seen some major, major gains in the weight room and the kids are really committed to it. And that makes it nice to see. Yeah, that must be rewarding for everybody involved. Offensively, scheme-wise, going to be the same this year, or are you guys implementing something new? Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different this year. Um, you know, we're going to do a lot of the flex bone this year. We've got some really good speed at our wing positions, um, so we're going to do a lot of jet sweeps and then pretty decent-sized fullbacks, um, you know, running traps, keeping that middle loose, and then a uh, couple kids playing wide receiver, Chase Rose and Wayne Lowry. Uh, Chase will be a junior, and then Wayne's going to be a freshman. Both those guys are 6'2", 6'3", and uh, they catch the ball real well, very athletic. So, you know, we're we're hoping to be able to use those two guys to stretch out the defense and then open up the, the middle and the outside for our running game. That's a big freshman, 6'2". Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. some size uh, with the younger guys, that must be nice to yeah, see. Yeah, it is. It's good to see those guys develop and, and uh, kind of come into their own. What about defensively? Uh, defensively, we're, we're going to look at, you know, again, defensively, you scheme towards the offense a little bit, whatever they're going to do. But right now we're looking at a 50 front. Um, you know, we've, we've got some decent size up front, some real skill at the linebacker position. So we're looking to be able to keep those guys free to make plays. With numbers at about 30, a little less than you said last year, the OHSA implemented some new rules on contact. Does that affect you, or would you have been a little lax on contact anyway, knowing you have fewer numbers? Yeah, we don't do a lot of it um, anyways. We just, I'm not a big fan of getting our own players hurt. Um, you know, it doesn't really affect us just because we do a lot of form tackling and things like that. And again, with, with only 30 kids, you just can't afford to get anyone hurt. But we will hit some because we can't save it all up for Friday night. I mean, you, you just have to do it to be a good football team. Scrimmages coming up. Uh, Cardinal Stritch and at Spencerville should be two challenging scrimmages. What are you hoping to get out of those? Uh, you know, we've got a few positions still up for grabs. Um, that's going to be a real tell on, on who can play, who wants to, you know, win those positions. Cardinal Stritch, they're a little more of a spread team, so that'll give us a good look for week one against Ada. And then um, Spencerville, everyone knows what they do. They're just going to run it right at you, so that's really going to test how physical we are. And uh, both scrimmages are really good for us. We really like to scrimmage Spencerville because it, it really shows us how tough we are, how physical we are, and where we want to be. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a good point. You mentioned seeing a, a run team and a pass team, so you really get a good look at both in the scrimmages. And then week one against Ada, rivalry game. you got to be excited about it. I'm sure the guys are. What do you need to do to get the W week one? 
Yeah, it's it's a rivalry game, um, you know, real close proximity, but it hasn't been on the field. I mean, they've they've put it on us pretty good the last few times. I believe 1996 is the last time we beat them. Um, you know, it's a mindset thing for us. Um, we've got to go over there believing we can win. Uh, they jumped out on us really quickly last year, got up three or four scores, and, you know, we played even with them the rest of the way. Now, whether that's a, you know, a product of them being up so much and not, you know, taking it as, ser as seriously or, you know, we decided to up our game, it, it's, it's tough to tell. But, um, basically coming out ready to play. I mean, that's the bottom line. And then after Ada, you've got at Corey Ross and at Indian Lake to round out the non-conference before NWCC play starts. And the NWCC is improving. Where do you see yourself fitting into the league this year? We always feel like we should compete for a league title. Um, you know, we, we finished middle of the pack the last few years. And like I said earlier, we've really got to take that next step. Uh, we've got to be able to beat Riverside. We've got to be able to beat Sydney Lehman and beat Fort Laramie. Those are the three teams on our schedule that if we want to compete for a league title, we've got to get those games. What would you say this team's biggest strength is right now about a week into practice? Uh, our speed. We've got really good team speed, um, and we don't lack in size either. Um, we've, we've got really good size up front, athletic linemen, very fast um, in the backfield. Austin Sloan, you know, he's state qualifier in the 400. Um, you know, he's run under 11 in the 100 before. So, you know, getting him the ball on the edge and then, you know, getting the other guys the ball um, on the edge like Blake Stevens and Dakota Cornell, those guys are really going to open up the edge. And then we're looking to, you know, hit it up inside with our fullbacks. And what's an area you'd like to see improved upon between now and week one? You know, like I said, with the whole Ada thing, it's all mental for us. Um, we've got to get over those mental blocks that we are good enough to compete with those teams like Ada, Fort Lormie, Sydney Lehman. I mean, if we can get over those mental blocks, we'll be okay. What do you expect of your guys every time they step on the practice field? You're in the middle of installing a program here, and it seems like guys are taking to it. You know, four and six the last three years, you're ready to make that next leap. What do you expect of them? Yeah, number one thing we expect is for them to play hard. Um, we don't we don't feel like that we should really have to coach effort. They know what's expected of them. We want them to come out, play hard, pay attention. We don't like to re-coach things. We like bright guys, you know, that are going to pay attention. If they're not in, we want them taking those mental reps and, uh, you know, just get after it and play hard. There's, you know, it's great to hear after a game that your team plays hard, but, you know, you usually only hear that when you lose. I mean, you know, sh you hear like, you know, you guys sure play hard, coach. But, you know, when you're on the losing end of the scoreboard, that doesn't really mean much. Right. So you want to get that result. Sure. We'll absolutely. Close, yeah, we'll close with this for you. Just goals overall for the team this year. Where do you see yourself in about two and a half months? Yeah, number one goal um, is always to win the NWCC. We feel like if we can take care of that, playoffs, whatever, it'll all take care of itself. Again, like I said earlier, we need to improve in our non-league. Um, you know, Ada is going to be a tough one for us. We beat Corey Rawson last year. Indian Lake playing up so many divisions is always really tough for us. Us. I mean, just from a pure number standpoint. Um, so, you know, see how that shakes out the first three games and then take care of business in the league and we'll see what happens. All right. Well, best of luck. Thank you very much, Coach Spencer. We need to take a break here on the warm up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. But when we return, more from USV. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. More with the USV Rams as I'm joined by two of the four seniors on the roster. It is Josh Stinson to my right, defensive end and offensive tackle. And on the end there, it's Blake Stevens, free safety running back. Josh, you're a little banged up. What happened? Trying to max out and dropped a weight on my knee. You think you'll be ready to go by the time the season rolls around? Yeah, if not, I'm still going to play anyways. <laughs> Blake, with only four seniors on the roster, what are some of the ways that you guys have led the younger group? Well, we've had a lot of leadership from our junior class because all four of us seniors have only played three years. We don't have any four-year seniors, so we've all kind of got the same amount of, uh, what am I looking for here, like experience and stuff. Right. So the leadership's kind of been shared throughout the junior and senior class. Josh, what have you seen out of camp so far watching, I guess, from the sideline? You impressed with the effort? Yeah, we've been working our butts off. What have you seen, Blake? Uh, yeah, everybody's been working pretty hard. Lots of conditioning after two, before and after two-a-days. And uh, I think we're going to be a really fast team this year. 
Yeah, Coach mentioned that he thinks that's going to be a strength for you guys. Josh, how important is the conditioning to maintain that speed on the field? Well, pretty important. You got to make sure you can get to your spot where you need to be and block and have the strength and got to go both all ways like I do. I got to right. go all four ways. On special teams, offense, and yep. defense. Yeah, that's part of playing in Division Seven. Blake, the opener against Ada is coming up. Big rivalry game. What do you need to do to get the W? Uh, I think we just need to be faster than them. I think overall we've got the better athletes. It's just going to come down to who wants it more, I think. And then, Josh, once you get into league play, it's, oh, it's always competitive. What do you have to do in practice to make sure you're ready for each and every league game? Make sure you, you go through every station, do what you're supposed to do, and not mess up as much. And then hopefully you'll see that result on the field. Blake, we'll close with you. Goals for this season for the USV Rams? Well, there's no team on our uh, – there's no team that we won't compete with. I can – I don't see any games that we should – I foresee us losing, really. I think we'll compete every game. We'll be fine. And that's exactly what Coach Spencer wants to see. Well, thanks for letting us come out to practice. Good luck to you guys during the season. We'll take a time out here on the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. When we come back, we'll chat with the other two Ram seniors. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. Third and final down. A couple more seniors getting ready to chat about the upcoming season for USV. Josh Brush to my right, quarter, cornerback, wide receiver. Keegan Keith on the end, offensive tackle, defensive end. Josh, we'll start with you. How's camp going, and are you guys progressing as, you, as you'd like to see? Yeah, it's going real good. And we're doing the things we need to be doing, getting better each day. Keegan, on the lines, what are the lines looking like this year, offensive and defensive? Uh, we lost a lot of seniors, and they were uh, a big part of our line last year. But uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. we got a lot of strong kids this year, uh, a lot of potential. Josh, young at the quarterback position this team is. Josh Moots, he's a sophomore. You'll be playing some wide receiver maybe. What have you seen out of the young quarterback so far? Oh, he, he can throw the ball. He can throw it real well. Read receivers. He's, he's going to be good. Keegan, coach mentioned conditioning as an essential part of the off season. How did your off season go in, in terms of getting into shape and staying in shape? Uh, the numbers in the weight room were pretty good this year. Uh, had quite a bit. The attendance was uh, all right. We uh, should have seen a lot more in there, but we're doing good. Uh, conditioning wise, it's been it's it's been a uh, it's been a run. <laughs> Literally, it's really a run. It's yeah. a run. Um, <laughs> And but, it's hot out here too, so I know oh, you guys have been working outside. This is this is one of the hotter days, but uh, we're getting we're getting better, a lot better, a lot of progression. So Josh, you open up against Ada, the big rivalry game. You looking forward to it? Oh, I'm excited. Now, Coach mentioned you guys haven't beaten them in a while since the '90s. So what would it mean to you to snap that streak? It would mean a lot, especially senior year, getting ready. It would mean so much to me. Keegan, is there a game you're focused in on, or is it week one? All of them. All of them. All of them. Playing in the NWCC has got to be pretty challenging week in and week out. What do you like about playing in the Northwest Central Conference? Keegan, we'll start with you. Uh, it's always a competition. Got a lot of competition. What about for you, Josh? Like Keegan said, always each team's a competition. Yeah. Can't really single one out. What do you think this team's biggest strength is? Biggest strength? I would say our run game. What about from yeah. you, Keegan? Run game. You agree? All right, well, we'll see. When USV takes the field, we're expecting that ground and pound and some good team speed from a lot of the skill positions. Best of luck to you guys this season. Thank That's going to do it for this edition of the warm-up from Upper Scioto Valley, and it's brought to you by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. I'd like to thank all of our guests for our entire crew. I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN. <laughs>